Well, that's really hard to spot a difference. Can you spot a difference? Hi divers, here's yet another video made with care for you. In this video, I check out the rather new brand Arcor and try to find out how similar their BCD actually is in comparison to the good old Halcyon Evolve 40. Coming up. I dived my Halcyon Evolve 40 BCD now for nearly 15 years and what can I say, I really love this piece of equipment. For the kind of dives I do, meaning technical and cave dives, this thing is just perfect. It has a great fit, great distribution of gas, very durable, there's really nothing to complain about. Except the price maybe. I know that price is not the main reason to buy or not to buy equipment that might save your life one day. However, in classes students ask me very often, hey Ben, why is a healthy BCD almost double the price of any other brand? Many people say all products they sell are made in USA, while others claim that this is only a marketing narrative and in fact everything is made in China. To find that out. I just emailed Halcyon and they answered that, quote, we make most of the products and most of the parts of the products in our factory in High Springs, Florida. Having said this, we still have a few sub-assemblies such as trim weight pockets, battery cells, some hardware, etc. that do come from other countries. Anybody is welcome to visit us anytime to have a look. So you think it's pretty clear that most of the parts from Halcyon are really made in USA, which of course makes products more expensive, but not necessarily better. There are some other brands in the market which offer a comparable quality for a distinctly lower price. However, these are often not very similar to Halcyon, which doesn't mean they are not as good. But there are some things I just like with Halcyon BCDs, like the overall cut, which makes the gas distribution, in my opinion, extremely good. The position of the dump valves is just perfect. The harness is just perfect. Not too stiff, not too soft, and you can't get that with most other brands, I think. Now, I accidentally came across a rather new brand, Accor Dive Systems. The company is based in Germany and was founded by a Halcyon dealer who always got asked the same question. Halcyon is awesome, but why is Halcyon so much more expensive? Is there a more budget-friendly alternative of comparable quality? And since he couldn't find a clear answer to this question, decided to create his own brand. He told me he tried to find a manufacturer who can produce BCDs that are at least very similar to the Halcyon ones. He finally found a manufacturer in China and now lets them produce the exact same BCDs just with his logo. Quite frankly, I cannot tell which parts of Halcyon BCDs are actually produced in China and whether parts of the BCDs are produced overseas at all. Here it is. This BCD is the Accor Tech 40 and was sent to me by Accor Dive Systems for free to test it out, but I do not get any money from them for this video or to say something positive about it, nor do I get any money from Halcyon to say anything positive about Halcyon or anything negative about other brands or something like this. So this review is as unbiased as always. So from first glance it looks extremely similar. The color appears to be almost the same as the Halcyon color charcoal and black, which is a very, very popular color combination. While Halcyon produces its BCDs in many different color combinations, just how you like it, Accor only offers this color combination at the moment. If I put both BCDs on top of each other and compare the cut, you can really see that the cut is really the exact same. 
I did a couple of dives with it and the gas distribution and therefore the trim is exactly the same with both PCDs. The same applies to the position of the dump valve, which is, to be honest, in the exact same location. It's hard to show in the video, but the material itself seems to be very, very similar. Quite frankly, I would say it's really the same material. The seams look quite similar, and even if you open the outer shell, the inner bladder is really the same. It looks really the same. The only difference I saw with the Halcyon BCD, it looks like the uh, side part is stitched from inside while with the Acor dive system, the side seems to be stitched just from the outside. If you look at the inflator, it's really the same. The inflator itself, I, I cannot see any difference. The inflator hose is really the same. How it is fastened is really the same. Maybe this loop is a bit bigger and it's a bit tighter here on the Halcyon BCD, but still it's extremely similar. One thing I like better on the Accor BCD is the logo. The Halcyon logo is just this rubber thing while Accor has an embroidered logo, which I like much more. And they claim that this does not wear out fast, but quite frankly, I cannot tell this after such a short time and maybe the rubber logo will turn out to be more durable, who knows. Now let's have a look at the back plates. So these are the back plates and as you can see I removed the harnesses on both back plates except the except the crutch strap. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference if you don't see a logo, just a test for you. Which do you think is the Halcyon back plate and which one is the Acker one? Yeah, ta-da! This is the Accor, this is the Halcyon, obviously. If I put both back plates on top of each other... You can see they really have the same shape, almost. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really the same shape. Both back plates are obviously made from steel. I cannot tell if the type of steel is really exactly the same, but both manufacturers claim that they are made from stainless steel, so I just have to believe this. The weight of the Halcyon backplate is 2.4 kilograms, and the Acor backplate is 2.3, a little bit more than 2.3 kilograms. So the weight of both backplates is quite similar. The edges of both backplates are comparable, very well rounded, nicely manufactured, so nothing to complain about here. Sure, my Halcyon backplate looks rather used since it's almost 15 years old, and on the Acro backplate, maybe this nice Acro logo might be scratched very soon. One obvious difference is the amount of holes. The Halcyon backplate has just two holes to attach it to the tanks, while the Accor offers uh, three holes on the top and one oblonged hole at the bottom. In my opinion, having just one possibility to fix the backplate is better, since you always have the same position. However, you could just mark the hole you usually use on the Accor backplate, so it's not really a disadvantage. What I like better with the Acker backplate is that it has more holes on the edges, which gives me more options to attach my argon set. On the Halcyon backplate, I could only fit one argon strap, otherwise, for the position I like my dry suit inflation tank, it did not really fit well. On the Acker backplate, I can use two argon straps because I have more options uh, to fix them and uh, everything is just in the perfect location. I like it. But this has to do with my preferred position of the Argon tank and may vary for another person. So quite frankly, when it comes to the backplates, 
still I cannot see a big difference. If I look at the harness, and to be honest, I always found the Halcyon harnesses to be perfect, the Acker harness is again almost the same. The material is really, yeah, it, it, it really looks the same. You, I cannot see any difference when it comes to the material, so I don't know if you can see any difference. Uh, the only difference you can see is that the Halcyon harness has the blue H. And the blue H is really something I'm missing on the Aqua harness, uh, because this makes adjustment a little bit easier and faster since you have some sort of mark on the harness. So if I go diving with rental gear and it's Halcyon, I know that I need something around nine and a half H's on the shoulder straps. Akur could just make a gray A or whatever on a future version and I would really appreciate that. Still, it's not a big deal and of course you could just replace the harness if you like too. When it comes to the D-rings, the stoppers, uh, the rubber bands and so on, it's pretty much the same. Even the little rubber band, what you call it, is really the same. And this is something I only saw on Halcyon BCDs until now. Most other brands just use these robe-like rubber things. So again, this is very, very, very comparable and quite frankly, it's, it's the same. Before we go on with this video, please take a second and consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell. I do a lot of gear reviews for technical minded divers, but also instruction videos and vlogs and by this you don't miss any upcoming videos. So the question in the beginning was how similar is the Accor Tech 40 compared to the Halcyon Evolve 40 and what can I say? It's very similar. To be honest, if you remove the logo, I guess I could not really tell the difference besides the oblong hole on the back plate and some minor really, really tiny details. Although Accor is 100% made in China and the Halcyon wing is made almost 100% in the US, I think the manufacturing quality is really comparable and the Accor Tech 40 is indeed an almost perfect copy of the Halcyon BCD. In fact, it's the best copy of the legendary Halcyon Evolve I've ever seen and when I dive with this thing, even when I really try to feel the difference underwater, I can't. I simply can't. So now let's talk about prices and why anybody should buy the original, the Halcyon Evolve at all. The Acker comes at a retail price of 376 euro, which is around the same amount in US dollars. Maybe by now it's a bit more, I guess, around 430, maybe 450 dollars. The Halcyon Evolve 40 is sold for 876 US dollars and for 850 euros in Europe. So it's by now a bit more expensive in Europe. If you're coming from another part of the world, please tell me how much the Halcyon Evolve 40 is in your currency. Anyway, the Halcyon Evolve 40 costs more than twice compared to the extremely similar Acortec 40. So what would be the reason to buy a Halcyon BCD at all? Reason number one is that Acor does not sell in the US currently, but is limited to Germany or at least Europe at the moment. That might change in the future, but at the moment it might be a bit difficult to get it if you're not based in Europe. Second reason is that the portfolio of Acor is a bit limited. They only produce a 40 pound double wing a mono wing comparable to the Halcyon Eclipse and a standard size stainless steel and an aluminum backplate and the only available color is charcoal black. So if you like to have a 60 pound wing, a short backplate, a carbon fiber backplate or custom colors, you cannot get that from Acker and most likely not from any other manufacturer except Halcyon. According to Halcyon's statement, they are able, if necessary, 
to produce any customized BCD within 24 hours, which is, yeah, mind blowing to be honest. Another thing to be considered is the customer service. Halcyon has really superb customer service. With any new brand, nobody really knows. I know the people behind Arcur and I'm convinced they give their best to have happy customers. Still, a new company as a new company. So in the end, if you can live with just having a single color combination and generally less options, but are on a tight budget, by purchasing the Acrotech 40, you literally get the Halcyon Evolve 40 for less than half the price. If you want to have a more custom-made BCD and want crazy color combinations or you need a custom-made BCD really fast, Halcyon can make almost any wish in regards to BCDs come true, but charges significantly more. Anyway, in my opinion, it's worth checking out Acur's website because they are constantly expanding their range of products. I link the website in uh, the description. Please let me know in the comments if you'd rather save some cash and get the Acur Tech 40 or if you are that individual kind of a person who rather goes for the Halcyon Evolve 40 and if it was the latter, which color combination you prefer. Please hit the like button, really smash it, subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. See you there.